Hello fam, welcome back to the African Diaspora News Channel. I am Wengil Zalalem bringing you the story. Today's story comes from Egypt. The stake genius built a robot to help doctors to assist for, you know, the pandemic. Um, you know, a lot of countries have been overwhelmed uh, because of the pandemic and everything that is going on in the clinic and in the doctor's office. Now they needed help support because, you know, even with the nurses and doctors, they can't come close to each other because they can transfer whatever the other person has and it's just easier for the robot to handle it. I think it's a great invention. First, watch the video. We'll come back. With Egypt facing a second coronavirus wave, mechatronics engineer Mahmoud El Koumi trials a self-funded prototype for a remote-controlled robot to assist physicians in running tests on suspected COVID-19 patients in a bid to limit human exposure to disease carriers at a private hospital in Tanta. Before starting its mission, the robot receives training to improve its artificial intelligence. The training is done by a specialist doctor. The AI in this training acts like a human doctor. The robot, called Sira 3 sports a human-like face and head to put patients at ease and can carry out an array of medical procedures and display the results to patients on a screen attached to its chest. The AI has also been developed to perform pain-free PCR swab tests. This robot is specially designed to help the medical staff during COVID-19 times. It is a medical robot capable of multitasks. It can deal with patients in their beds, chest scans, fever screening, and face mask detection. Face mask addiction. Mahmoud El Komi reports positive feedback from patients. The North African nation reports just under 200,000 confirmed coronavirus cases, with over 150,000 recoveries, according to the WHO. As you saw, Mohamed El Kwami. Um, created that robot and uh, that robot has been functional in Egypt and it has been helping a lot of patients and doctors as well. So uh, first of all, I don't know, a, a lot of people are scared of robots, including me, because we watched movies that, you know, show us that the robots will take over and blah, blah, blah. So I don't know. I don't think we're there yet. So as of now, this robot is actually being really helpful. It is, um, you know, taking temperatures and that means, you know, less, less chance of the nurses and the doctors coming in contact with the patients. And it also takes x-rays. It also uh, reads um, your charts it also assists the doctor um, and it's trainable so this is wonderful i think it's a good invention until it gets to that point where we should be scared of them for now they're really supporting when they're needed and um Clearly, the doctors appreciated this invention because they can actually use it and they can actually, this is helpful. It's not one of those robots that is there to look cute. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, uh, I thought it was really interesting what the, this guy was able to do by helping the health sector. Anyways, guys, do let us know down below what your thoughts are about this invention. Are you one of those people that are, uh, you know, really suspicious about uh, robots and AIs or you're like, like it is what it is you know it's at the end of the day they can't create souls and spirits it's only going to be digital it's only going to be you know remote controlled or we're the ones controlling it so it shouldn't be scary let us know down below i'm wangil zalal i'm bringing you the story i will see you on the next one bye thank you for watching make sure to subscribe to our youtube channel and download the african diaspora news channel app now available on google play and the apple app store